Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson with whoismatt.com, and today I want to show you how to easily color grade in Premiere Pro using lookup tables, or as they're commonly called, LUTs. If you want to save a lot of time color grading and go straight from a flat and low contrast log image to a beautiful color graded image, using a LUT is the way to go. Now before we get into things, I would highly recommend watching my last video all about color grading in Premiere, because I'm going to be building on top of that video and using many of the same tools in this one. I will link to that video in the corner and down in the video description. With that, welcome to Premiere Pro. And if you've watched my previous video, this setup is gonna look very familiar. Here we are in the color workspace. If yours does not look like this, you can just go up to Window, Workspaces, Reset to Save Layout to get it back to looking like this. And you are now ready to color grade using LUTs. But what is a LUT? As I said at the start of this video, LUT stands for lookup table, but what the heck is that? In short, a LUT is a color preset that will automatically apply a set of colors to your video clip and give it a certain look. And this look could really be anything. There are LUTs that make your footage look super colorful. There are LUTs that desaturate your footage so it looks like a vintage film. You've got black and white LUTs. You've got infrared LUTs. You've got Michael Bay neon teal and blue LUTs that make your film look like a summer blockbuster. You name it, there's probably a LUT for it. And the way these LUTs work is they use a bunch of math and numbers that are stored in a file called a .cube file. This .cube file can be read by most major video editing software programs today like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut, meaning that applying a LUT to your footage and changing its colors can be as simple as a few clicks. It's pretty cool. So I'm sure you're wondering at this point, where do you get LUTs? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've actually created a set of LUTs called Who Is Matt LUTs that are aimed at helping you improve the colors in your films. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to use these LUTs to color grade your footage in Premiere Pro. I'll be color grading footage that I filmed in S-Log3 with my Sony a7S III, which is my favorite picture profile for this camera. But I want you to know that these LUTs are made to work with both log and standard footage. So if you're shooting with a different picture profile or a different camera, these LUTs should still look great. I'll link to them down below if you wanna check them out. Making sure you're in the color workspace, let's go over here to the Lumetri color panel and the creative tab now. Make sure that your video clip is selected so you can access this panel. And over here next to look, which says none, click this drop down menu. And you can either browse and select a .cube file, or if you want to install your LUTs to this drop down menu here, you can save your .cube file to a folder that's buried in your Windows or Mac operating system. I will list exactly where you need to put the file down in the video description. I'm gonna go down here and select the whoismat01 log LUT and check this out. Ooh, there we go. Immediately we have more contrast, we have more saturation, and hey, nice golden sunset vibes. This is looking pretty good, okay. Over here under where you selected the LUT, you'll see you have an intensity slider, and this is where you can change the intensity of the LUT. If I drag it to the left, it's like there's no LUT applied at all. If I drag it to the right, oh my gosh, it looks like Nuclear fallout. Okay, we'll go back to the middle. This intensity slider is super useful. And whenever I've used LUTs that I've purchased in the past, I've always found that I needed to tweak the intensity a little bit to really dial in the LUT to my liking. Now, when you see this LUT applied, it looks like it might be a little warm here in the skin tones. And here's where we need to debunk a lie that you may see people throwing around whenever they're trying to sell you their LUTs. Never believe anyone who says you can just put their LUT on your footage and it will immediately look perfect. All LUTs are going to require tweaking of some sort, and some are gonna require a lot of tweaking. I made these LUTs to require minimal tweaks, but as you can see with this shot, they will still require a bit of modifications due to how I film these clips. Go over here to Curves, and I'm gonna go over here to the Midtones, click and create a point. I'm gonna bring the brightness of the Midtones up just a bit, but now my shadows are looking a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna bring down the shadows just a little bit more just a smidge because this shot was so dark and the couple was in the shadow backlit by the sun, I find that that little tweak is making this look pop. Next, let's go over here to the color wheels. And I feel like this shot, I like how warm it is, but I want the skin tones to be slightly less warm. So I'm gonna drag these mid tones oh so slightly down, make them slightly cooler. And then for the highlights, I'm gonna shift to make these slightly warmer because I do want that golden sun effect 
but I don't want it to be overpowering on the skin tones. All right, and as you can see, few minor tweaks. This LUT is looking awesome. Let's go on to this second clip now. If you watched my last video, you'll know this is the groom getting ready for the day. And let's click on the first clip now, go up to effect controls. We're gonna copy this Lumetri color effect by pressing control C or command C if you're on a Mac. Let's click on this second clip and I'm gonna press control V or command V if you're on a Mac and uh oh, we're going super golden skin tones here. A little too intense. So let's dial this all back. I'm going to double click on these two color wheels here to bring those colors back. Now let's see about cooling this off. So our mid-tones are these skin tones here. So let's drag that down to the blue, gonna cool it off, cool it off. Let's cool off the highlights just a little bit too, make sure his shirt's looking real white. There we go. So we still have like a nice, real warm, healthy looking skin, but not too warm, not too tan. You gotta be careful, you don't make people look too tan. Some people may like to look more tan, but you gotta be careful with that. Looking at these two shots here now, I think they're really matching up well between the two of them. That leaves us with the last shot here. We've got the couple dancing. All right, I'm going over here to the second shot because this is a shot that I cool down. Control C to select this effect. Control V, there we go. Okay, not nearly as warm. A few minor tweaks need to happen though. Drag down the highlights here, cool those off a bit. Now this shot is still looking a little warm. So let's go up here to the basic correction tab. And I'm going over here to temperature, which is going to affect the temperature of the entire clip. And I'm going to drag it just a few points to the left so there we go, we're adding some more blue in. Dress is looking white, his pants are looking white. Skin tone's looking good, still a warm image, but that's gonna go well with these other two shots. Now looking at their dress and skin, they still look a little red. So let's make one last tweak here on the tint. And we're gonna take the tint and we're gonna take it from, if you go to the right, we're gonna go pink, but if we go left, we're gonna go green. And we're just gonna go a little green. We're gonna add just a bit of green back in. And so suddenly, dress is looking whiter, pants are looking whiter, and Skin tones are looking really, really great. This couple's popping off the screen. And so you see how simple this is. Just a few minor tweaks. I love being able to go back up here to the basic correction and then I can make little modifications at this point, but you really don't have to make a ton of changes with LUTs. As long as they're good LUTs, they're pretty easy to work with. Let's play all these clips back now and see how they look. We got those warm sunset skin tones looking really great with the donkeys, love them. Then we've got the groom getting ready and he's looking great. Lastly, we have the couple dancing and even under this warmer tungsten lighting, I think they look awesome. With that, you now know how to color grade your footage in Premiere Pro using LUTs. And my Who Is Matt LUTs are linked down in the video description if you wanna check them out. With that, thank you so much for watching. Lastly, if you happen to be a wedding filmmaker, as you've seen from these clips, I am, you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings. To help you out with that, I've created a free guide that's going to walk you through some practical steps that you can take right now in your business to book more couples and film more weddings. It's a completely free gift to you. You can download it at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.